15 years ago today, August 6th, not a damn thing happened. At least that I can remember. Isn't that weird? We only remember certain, you know, certain days of a, you could tell me, hey man, tell me something that happened in 1992, and I could come up with probably three or four things. That was a pretty intense year, so I could probably come up with a lot more. That was an awful year for me. But a good year, same. It was, a, it was an awful year, but it ended up being a good year. I'm not going to talk about 1992 here. But that's the way it is. If We do not remember. Maybe we do remember every day of our lives, but it, there has to be something exciting to happen in that day or something terrifying to happen that day. Something bad or good to where you can, it's logged in your, you know, you can pull it up at any given time. And uh, I got a few of them days, I'm sure we all do. But it's kind of good that we don't remember every single day. Because some days are boring, you know, some days are bad. We tend to remember the bad days more than the good days. So I'm having a good day. My elbow is better. Uh, I got that new weight machine. <laughs> And the car, the truck door hit me in the up right on the bone, man, right here. Yeah, I don't know why they call it the funny bone, because there wasn't a dang thing funny about that, man. So I got off the, on the scale today. You know, it takes a minute. It goes to go computing, computing. You know what it did this morning? said where's mike what'd you do with him get off of me doesn't recognize me i hit i am now 55 pounds no 45 pounds down not 55 that's right 245 pounds down from i quit weighing myself and i've got a video here we're going to look at from back in january uh <laughs> Because I can't really look in the mirror and tell if I've lost weight. I don't know. There's just something about that. You know how you you don't see somebody for like they're 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 overweight, and then you don't see them for like two years, and then you go see them and and they've lost a bunch of weight. It's like that, you know. You kind of not, you know. It's like my dogs. I don't notice them really gaining weight, or you know, because I see them every single day, and it's a gradual process, and you don't. You don't really see it. But I, I, I happened to be looking at this video last night at one of my videos, uh, which I don't do often, is look at my videos. But I, I kind of wanted to go back because I remember telling people there was a point where I was almost 300 pounds. And I mean, by almost, I mean within two or three pounds. I think, it was, I, think I seen 297 at this point. Uh... And I'm looking at this video and I'm going, my God, I was a lot bigger. And you could tell. And just out of breath and, you know, unhealthy. Well, let's go look at the video and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, here we go. Let's just slide on over here. <laughs> look at that pork. Look at that pork belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's hear me talk a little. I'm talking about Melly. That... Uh, it doesn't matter. You just, just look at the chubbiness. Oh, I got to put the mouse up here. Okay. Uh, I, I can walk right up to her and feed her. And I think she was just so... You'll see in the video how bad she Look at my looked. chins. And then when she showed up here a year later, she didn't have a collar. And she looked just as bad. So if you want to know survival skills of a dog, that... And, uh, uh, has some. and my shoulders. She's out there now. She's not skinny. My chest me anymore. look bigger. But something happened in that year. I think she just she was out on her own for an entire year. Dude, I don't know. You Maybe got more chins than a Chinese uh, phone book. I'm making this video because I was so amazed that a year later, and I did go back two years ago. We were just uh, having another work that was before he moved in. Right after I met yeah. you. Talk and about finding Millie. We were doing another work party thing, and she just, she she had been there. Looks like you ate your share. Uh-huh. And so I gave All right. 
Well, look at that. Look at that noggin, man. I will not never, ever look like that again. I'm not kidding you. That's... But I like those extra chins. You could store food up in them things, man. Where are they? And I still got 50 pounds to go. So I'm going to be like a, a skeleton head when I reach my goal. A skeleton head, yeah. Oh, if you ever need motivation, go back and look at one of your oldest at your worst. Oldest videos or whatever, pictures where you're at your worst. I tell you. Ah, uh, I got all this energy bottled up and I've been sitting here at this desk because I got a video going crazy on the other channel and I'm watching it. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put an end to that today and go out and, and start on these work. But I couldn't do nothing yesterday because I couldn't, I couldn't bend this arm. Now I got some bendage in it. So hopefully we'll start on that workbench today. Now it's been very hot, but I got an air conditioner in there, so it's, it's not too bad. So I just want to talk a little bit about the things I didn't cover in the in the, in the last few videos, the one on this channel and the one on that channel, is what I'm eating. Uh, that part of it, I mean, even though you would call it a diet, it's more like a lifestyle. Uh, I'm eating mostly for breakfast. I, I eat eggs and bacon in the morning. Now, if I have a piece of leftover steak, I'll have steak and eggs or pork chop. I got a good pork chop recipe, carnivore pork chop recipe here in a second, so hang on. Uh, I don't, I don't skimp. I eat about five eggs every morning, and I get the cage-free brown eggs from all these. They also have a higher, uh, more expensive one. I really haven't seen the difference in the cage-free and the free range. Now, I think Dr. Ken Berry will recommend the free range, probably because they're more. People relate that things are more or better, but I, they're not that much more. They're like three fifty a dozen, and I usually buy. I go through about four dozen a week in a seven-day period. So sometimes I fry them. Every other day, maybe I'll make an omelet. I'll take some hard cheese. You can have hard cheese on carnivore. I'll take either Colby or was it Monterey Jack. The, you know, hard cheese, I guess that comes in the bricks. And I get those. They're cheap at Aldi's. And sharp cheddar, which I like. And you just can't have things like American. Uh, I'm not sure about Swiss. Swiss is a soft cheese. Pretty much any cheese that, does, that you know, that has carbs, no. Uh, what am I thinking about? So, and then for dinner, now last night, now I'm not crazy about chicken. But when you're eating just meat, you, you have to mix it up or it gets old. You know, you can't just eat one steak every day and that's it. I mean, you can. You got to have some variety. So, I made, the other day I made, I had chicken breast. Put them on the Blackstone grill. That's why I bought that grill. Everybody was going, why are you buying that? That's charcoal. You imagine being on this diet, how much it would cost in charcoal. So I bought the Blackstone. It also has the griddle on the one side, so I can cook bacon, eggs, which kind of a hassle. I don't do it in this heat. Now, in the winter, I will. But for steaks, uh, chicken, pork chops, ribs, the grill is the way to go. Now, I have, most of the time, I use my air fryer. I've got a big air fryer that does all kinds of stuff. It's also an oven, a toaster oven, convection oven, blah, blah, uh, dehydrator. And it's just easy. I, I put it on 20 minutes, 400 degrees, put the steak in, let it go a few minutes, flip it over. And I can put my fish in there with it or reheat, like I had leftover chicken. And then I made... I buy a lot of these little five, six ounce steaks all these has. They come in a two pack. That way I can eat another kind of meat with it, you know. And they also have big one pounders or bigger than one pound. And I'll make those uh, if I have something light with it. Now I have experimented 
probably three times and I did this the other day and I wished I had enough and I will not do it again uh, I've, I've when I only had like uh, three pieces of chicken and I needed something else I opened a can of green beans okay green beans didn't seem to bother me they do I think it's in mostly in the water that they give that they pack it in has a little trace of sugar a uh, little bit of carbs but I mean it's green beans so it's healthy so I'd pour all that water out and then I'll add a spoonful of bacon grease and a big chunk of butter and I put it in the microwave that didn't bother me but the other day I tried a canned carrots that tore my stomach up don't know why and I will not do that again that that is the thing about this diet if you sway from it it's gonna let you know uh, you should consume a little bit of carbs but I'm on elimination so zero is good but if you do it's you know it's not the end of the world I you know a lot of a lot of them that are hardcore on carnivore they don't drink coffee because it's a plant they don't drink tea because it's a plant neither one is gonna hurt you I, I gotta have my coffee I drink it black I drink instant black and I'm losing weight so I mean and I feel great so why not uh, I have cut back on the amount of tea that I drink I just simply have been putting more water now when I'm doing projects I drink a lot of water I'll have three or four cases of water on hand in the and I'll put it in the fridge and I drink a lot of that water is good now pork chops I I like my pork chops you know down here in the south I like them fried you know the the breading on the pork chops I like them all different ways but I found a recipe that is 100% carnivore and it is incredible now there's only one snack you can do on the carnivore diet and that is pork rinds and I have found a few others you could maybe get you a little bite of cheese uh, I never really was a huge snacker so it doesn't bother me but I do buy the pork rinds if you take you know when you get to the bottom of the bag of the pork rinds and they're little bitty dudes and you know they they usually just stay in the bag well I seal those up when I make pork chops I take those pork rinds and I crush them into a powder it's not exactly a powder you just crush them up the best you can take a bowl put me an egg or two in there and I dip the pork chops in the egg and I coat the whole pork chop in them pork rinds and you can put some seasonings in there I put garlic powder pepper um, I don't really salt meat until it's off the grill or whatever but these I cook in the air fryer and they come out with a nice tasty coating on them that I would make even if I wasn't on this <laughs> carnivore and they are good so you got to be creative but you got to keep in mind the ingredients you're using and not not slip into carbohydrate hell so I'm basically consuming zero carbohydrates and I said before I found a barbecue sauce uh, zero carbs zero sugar uh, and it's I still use that sparingly because it has a lot of calories and you know you're not even really supposed to pay attention to calories on this but I don't want to get that could lead to eating something else and something else but I've my discipline has been great doing this or I wouldn't have lost this weight but you know I go back and I see that uncle fester looking dude you know let's look let's just look at him look at him there that's uncle fester it is I you know I'm expecting the Adams family is, wait a minute uncle fester what was he on yeah, he was on the Adams family, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm expecting old Fred to walk in any time. Oh, get off there. I don't ever want to see that dude again. I don't. And dip. Now, you can have sour cream. I do eat sour cream. I make my own tartar sauce with that. Just add, uh, there is a uh, relish that doesn't have sugar doesn't have carbs I add that comes in a little squeeze bottle a little salt and pepper uh, you can put a little basil in there I, I am NOT a fanatic when it comes to spices 
I'll use, I mean, you're using so little, it isn't going to affect you. So do what you, you know, if that's what you got to do, do that. And that's what I got to do. Because I got to have some flavoring, flavorings on my food. Got to, man. It's got to taste good. Just because you're doing this don't mean it. But man, putting butter on steak and butter on any kind of meat is, I put it on chicken yesterday. Man, that was good, man. It is the best. Oh, it's just the best. And use a lot of it. It ain't going to hurt you. Do not listen to what you've been trained to listen to. Oh, butter's bad. It's going to clog your arteries. Man, if this is doing damage to my heart, <laughs> because I have a lot more stamina now, and I breathe so much better. My breathing at night, I sleep a good... Last night, I slept from 11 to 7 this morning. That is unheard of for me. Unheard of. That, you know, it's getting better. So, and, and I'm aiming to get to 200 pounds. We'll see what I look like. Uh, I am going to start working on this weight machine. That's going to help me. Uh, I've got a lot of loose, you know, the man boobs and then around the waist and that. And I purposely bought shorts that are their elastic band. Okay, stretchy. And they have a pull string. Because I'm not spending a ton of money when I lose weight on different kinds of clothes. Only to lose more weight. To have to buy more so the perfect time i feel to do this is in the summertime early spring like i started because you can wear these kind of clothes during the summer well depending where you live you don't have to waste money on buying jeans and things like that so by the time it gets cold enough to have to put a pair of pants on i should my waist should pretty much be where it needs to be and I don't, and then I got these, these armless sleeveless shirts I ordered from Amazon. I got about a dozen of them. So you'll see me wearing these a lot. And they're also made out of the same material. They're stretchy and they're light and they're comfortable. And work out in them, whatever. They're wife beaters. That's what you call these in Arkansas, wife beaters. Yeah. A lot of guys wear them. I mean, you get, I got like five for 30 bucks. You can't beat that. All right, I have got to get out there today and got to get out there today and get to work. I got an e bike to put together. I got a recliner that's coming. Uh, that won't be, I don't think that's going to be a whole video that's going to be included in a video. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I went over, I'd seen Mama V's uh, where she had, she's get, got the, what have I got? She has the same one I'm getting, only hers is a, like a pleather. I'm getting the cloth, the same color I have now. And it's got heat, massage, it's got the electric. It'll If I hurt my back and I'm in it, it'll dump me out of that chair. And I like that feature. Because that is one of the hardest things when your back goes out, is getting out of a recliner. And so that's, uh, hopefully I don't have to use that, you know, too often. But... It does, I do stupid things when I'm working and, 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 and my back will be thrown out. But if you guys have any questions, and I, I told you I wasn't going to pummel you with all these kind of videos, but there's an interest. Everybody's asking me, and so if there's an interest, I'm going to do the videos. Uh, once I get used to that weight machine and start working out and don't look like a fool, I'll kind of maybe do some workout videos. You know, they're going to be aimed at people that are older that you know you're not going to see me putting 300 pounds on that dude and because i can't do that anymore you know i don't know maybe six months from now i could because this thing continues to surprise me <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm getting back a lot of things i lost that i could do when i was younger i don't think i'm going to try running my feet are bad i've got pest planus flat feet and then i've got the uh what out of the other stuff that's pretty bad uh, what is the name of that? Plantar fasciitis. That is the arch of your foot. There's a like a span of muscle, you know, and a lot of that's from the mil. Well, that is solely from the military. Wearing combat boots, doing military stuff. Uh, but you, if your feet are bad, that kind of thing, you know, the inflammation could go down. Uh, but it affects your whole back, your whole knees, all that, your hips. And it sucks, but yeah, I don't, I did actually run a couple of years ago, 
on a video on this channel. If you go back to the walking videos, I did run two laps around the backyard. And then but my knees and my hips started hurting. And so I had to quit. I could have kept going. I was getting in better shape. All right, this video is turning into a marathon. Thanks for watching. Uh, go check out the other channel if you haven't. Put a video up about me doing Dogtober. Video on each channel every single day. 100% of the proceeds will go to Furry Tales Rescue. There will be more information about that rescue as we get closer to October. So I appreciate every each and one of you. Each and every one of you. Happy trails.